watching this news conference from our Washington, D.C. Bureau is, of course, Bob Schieffer. And, Bob, the president tried to answer the question he said many Americans have right now, what's in it for me? Do you think he was persuasive and reassuring enough tonight? Well, the president put it in the starkest terms that he's put it yet. He said, if we don't get this, it's going to put everybody's health care in danger, uh, whether you have health insurance or not, and it's going to bankrupt, it's going to wreck the federal budget. Uh, he tried to argue that we have no choice but to do this. But what the president's really trying to do here, I think, Katie, is take control of something that he had kind of farmed out to Congress. He told Congress to come up with health care, uh, a health care reform plan that met his goals for reform. And so far, they haven't done it. They're still mired in debate. And, and the fact that they're not close to an agreement yet it is we just saw it. He had to call a news conference tonight to try to gain control of this. Now, maybe he can do it. Maybe he can't. Uh, this thing is in a stage now, I think, where it could go either way. But the president's a good salesman. His people think he's the best salesman in his administration. So they put him on television tonight. They've been putting mm -hmm. him on television almost 24-7. And you're going to keep seeing him here as he tries to get control of this once again, because as he argued tonight, Night. In his words, we have no choice but to do this. And Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, has the president faced a lot of criticism for not really rolling up his sleeves and getting into the nitty-gritty details of this legislation? And how much of an uphill battle, in your view, is he facing right now? Well, members of Congress say privately that they don't think that they will meet, for example, that August deadline that he has set, which is now uh, just a few days away. They say that they're glad that he is keeping an open mind as they try to work through all of the different options that are on the table. However, they would like more guidance from him on some of these very important issues, how to pay for health care reform. It would give them some cover, they say, if he would come out and say, this is the way that you should be paying for health care reform. Instead of making them make these hard choices. Absolutely. And there are so many choices to be made. And as you saw this week, Katie, uh, Democrats don't agree on which way is best to pay for health care. And so they're now arguing among themselves. And it looks like they will go back for their August recesses without having a specific decision. All right. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Nancy, thank you very much.